Well, in the spirit of using only three components, let's install Curator CE733 in VirtualBox rather than VMware. I downloaded the VMware, the VirtualBox product, installed it. There was no nothing remarkable to highlight, highlight, and now I'm opening the Curator CE image that I downloaded. The link is going to be in the video description anyway, if you have not seen it, and then opening with that. Never used VirtualBox before, so I may be fumbling a few things here. Let me actually, number of CPUs, let me hit enter. Yep, I can put A there. Hit enter on the memory. I'm going to put 10 gigabytes. I guess I'm, some of these parameters will be pulled out by the import process, like in VMware. The networking. Well, I want to make this bridge, but uh, I guess I, I'll have the option later. So I'm going to import. I'm going to pause the video until that completes. I'm going to change a few things here. Uh, per some suggestion that I saw from Leopoldo Aguirre, who has used VirtualBox in the past. Here, the graphic controller I'm using, it is actually this one. On the network, yeah, that's bridge. That's what we want. Click OK. And I guess that uh, that's the 250. That's a good sign from the import. Let's actually hit start here to launch this. Well, that's a very small screen. You have auto capture keyboard. I don't know what that is. Closing that one. Uh, the virtual. Uh, I don't know what that's, that one is either. In here, let's click here on this screen and see if we can make this bigger. Because this is almost unusable. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So, like in the original video. We're going to set the password the first time in. Let me see what kind of IP do I have. Okay, that's on the bridge on my on my network. That looks good. So it's the 137 address. So let's use the same program we use to set up in the VMware case to set up the network parameters before we run the setup. NMTUI. So let's make sure that we have the host name fully qualified. It is. So we can here cancel. Let's edit a connection. It's, uh, it's a wired connection. It's the only one that we have. We click edit. Let me change the name and put the same adapter that we saw before. That was ENP0S17. And in your environment might be different. So watch for those. Actually, I had it here on the next line. OK, so let me click Tap. I Automatic, no, we want to put this manual. Curator doesn't like dynamic IPs. Let's click on show. On the address, let's put the address that we saw. 192, oh, let me hit add. 192.168.2.137 slash 24. In here we are specifying the net mask uh, with that C that range. Now, if you want to get out of the of this screen, you can do Control Command, and that gets you out of there. So we need to specify the gateway. Actually, let me go up. It's going to be 192.168.2.1. The DNS server is going to be. Let me hit Enter going to be quad 9 and there's nothing more that we need to do here let me scroll down 
yeah ipv4 ipv6 we don't want so let me click here ignore and hit enter and we should be good here let me scroll down over here to back arrow key down to quit we should be able to ping on the outside we do so now control C and let's run the setup program hit enter to accept the terms you can scroll down and read this if you accept the license agreement you can click Q and hit enter to accept it you wish to continue yes and this is gonna do its things I'm gonna pause the video until that completes Well, that took a while now as in the case of the VMware install is asking us for the admin the one that the the password that we will use to log in into the the UI the other one is the one that you'll use if you SSH into the box because this is a demo system and, and using the same on both So, let me make sure I remember the actual IP address. I believe it was one MC 177. Yep, it's 137 right there. Now, let me open a browser. Go 192. 168.2.137 let me actually make sure that this is it could be that the HTTP server is not fully up right now but let me actually put it with HTTPS colon slash slash yep you have to put the HTTPS I go here in advance that's a good sign we click proceed and again this this may take a while because it's not fully up actually no it, it is fully up if we log in here admin we are in the curator CE of course the license acceptance from the UI and here we have it uh, curator CE running on VirtualBox now, Polo sent me some screenshots when he used this. Uh, he used NAT. So in order to access the box when you use NAT, you need to do port forwarding. Port forwarding. So, so you need to select on the network option, click on port forwarding, and notice that he is forwarding uh, anything that is going to go to port 22 over 1022 and anything that's going to go to 443 is using 4443 right so in, when he wants to use the UI he puts the IP address of the box and then put 44443 that does the port forwarding to the internal address on port 443 in another video of this series we show how you filter this uh, internal curator system logs as well enjoy your curiosity and hope you learn a lot uh, with it and don't forget also to check the pfsn series of videos in which you can transform your replacing your home router you can transform your home network into your own lab to learn all the concepts on cybersecurity with uh, the PFSense uh, open source uh, router technology. 
with the free curator CE and either VMware or any virtualization if you wanted all three. Now you see that you can use VirtualBox as well.